three days after Indonesia's second worst air disaster, a vital potential clue to the cause. Divers have recovered the flight data recorder buried in the seabed. They had to dig to get it out. It logs everything the Lion Air Boeing 737 was doing, including its speed, altitude and heading. We will let the Transportation Safety Committee do their job and we have requested Boeing to help determine the criteria needed for inspection to find out the cause of the crash. Still missing is the flight deck voice recorder of the two pilots. Investigators will be hoping both black boxes survived the impact intact. Search teams are also trying to locate the fuselage where the passengers were. Investigators from the US National Transportation Safety Board and Boeing experts have arrived in Jakarta. Their preliminary report is not expected for weeks. The final crash report could take years. But pressure is on Boeing to pinpoint what happened to two-month-old Boeing 737 MAX. Lion Air is the launch customer of the latest variant of the best-selling airliner. The twin jet had technical problems the day before. Lion Air executives say they were resolved and the plane flew from Bali to Jakarta hours before its fateful flight. At least four employees of the low-cost carrier have been suspended pending the investigation. For the families, the agonizing wait goes on. We hope the government can find all victims as soon as possible. I do hope my husband is still alive. That's a wish of mine, of our families. He is a strong-willed person. Forensic experts have taken DNA samples from the next of kin to begin matching passenger remains, ready for the many funerals to come. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera.